Let's take a quick look at a tool that elite special operations units use to document or reinforce their success and to learn from their mistakes. It's called the After Action Report. One of the tools that elite special operations units use to continue to get better is to conduct an After Action Report or an AAR. The AAR is a discussion of what happened, what went well, and most importantly, what did not go well or what the unit could do better the next time. When a mission is a matter of life and death, we can't afford to make the same mistake twice. The principle we are discussing is the fact that even though you will make mistakes, you must always learn from them. This logic applies for the military as well as for civilian organizations and teams. Weak units with weak leaders have fluffy AARs where everything went perfectly and everyone was a winner. Great job, everybody! Strong units with strong leaders have honest AARs where they focus 90% of their time and effort to identify and discuss things that went wrong or things that could have gone better, and then they find ways to learn from their mistakes. If you care about your job and you're a professional, you should never make the same mistake twice. Special Ops guys are alpha males, men who put themselves under a lot of pressure to be the best of the best. I've noticed that pride is a huge motivational factor in the special operations community. Everyone wants to be number one. If you point out how something didn't work or show how something failed, it is going to burn a hole in the mind of a special ops guy, and for the rest of his life, for sure, he is never going to make that same mistake twice. According to U.S. doctrine, AARs can be formal or informal. A formal AAR might be a facilitated discussion for senior leaders in a public venue. Everyone is on their best behavior, and the facilitator uses vignettes from the battle to facilitate learning. These type of AARs are usually done at the higher headquarters with senior ranking leaders. Better yet are the informal AARs. These AARs usually involve nothing more than a quick discussion at each level. An informal AAR might be conducted by a team immediately after a training mission. After you clean your weapons and account for sensitive items, you assemble the team and discuss and learn from what happened. I recommend that during informal AARs, one person facilitates the discussion. This is usually one of the leaders, but not the jerk leader who intimidates everyone. If the jerk leader facilitates the AAR, then no one will participate. I recommend that the AAR is facilitated by a trusted and respected leader. It is also a good idea for him or her to write down what is said, or to designate someone to record the results of the AAR. The discussion during the AAR can be organized by commodity areas, such as discussions on logistics, and then movement, and then communications. Or your AAR may discuss phases of the operation. How did phase one go? Or phase two? How about phase three? My favorite technique is for each participant to discuss three ups and three downs, or list three sustains and three improves. The last thing I want to talk about is the final report. As the name implies, the after action report actually requires a written report. This AAR is filed in the Greater Lessons Learned database. I recommend that every unit keep a database where they store and file old AARs. Then when another similar mission arises, the planners and executors can download and reread the lessons learned from the previous iteration. Perhaps they will learn from their predecessors' mistakes and perform even better in the future. In my opinion, the format for the AAR is not as important as the fact that you actually do it. But for the sake of uniformity, I can easily recommend the format that we use in the military, Issue, Discussion, and Recommendation. The issue is the greater topic. Perhaps it's communicating while you're in the remote desert. Discussion is what happened, both the good and bad. Talk about the problems you had during the mission and what technically and tactically went wrong and then move on to recommendation. This is the most important piece. This is what you should do better for the next mission. For example, bring some more batteries, bring better antennas, set up a relay station, use a stronger or different radio type. I highly recommend that you do AARs at all levels. In small military units, leaders usually have to go to two AARs for each mission or major event. 
The first AAR is at the unit level. The second AAR is at the higher headquarters level. This is because some of the lessons learned just apply to the team, but some of the lessons learned apply to how the headquarters can provide better support. So whether you're in a special operations team or a leader back in Washington, DC, the coach of a sports team or a member of a business team, I hope you learned something new and are more prepared to develop the capabilities of your team. AARs are all about learning from the past so you can take your performance to the next level in the future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to forward to someone who needs to know this. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?